is the continuation of week six, Go Slow Wall Classification. As we talked about last week, we went ahead and are finding out what foods are nutritious for us. So uh, many times we are, our children are faced with uh, different types of advertisements and uh, here you can show the kids that they have this that is being sold to them at their school for their school lunch and it's called Baby Cheese Kids Meal, only $1.99. So yes, they can say, hey, you know what, the, the wiener is a protein, the bun is also a grain and fries are a vegetable and nacho cheese, that's a protein as well. Or you can also say that the apple juice has apples. But are they good for us? Well, this is where you could explain to the, the students that they have a capability of having some choices, better, healthier choices. Some of the healthier choices that they can use are replacement foods, such as for the hot dog, which has a lot of fat and salt, they can go ahead and replace it with chicken strips that are grilled. For uh, more fiber, they can look at a whole wheat bread or a whole wheat tortilla. They can also replace the French fries to bake French fries to bake fries. And for the cheese, they can go ahead and use fat, less fat or low fat milk. Uh, for the drink, they can replace it with a fresh apple. And have the students decide on a, another poster board, say you could go ahead and label it and divide it into go, slow, and woe. And you can go ahead and have them uh, cut out the different um, food groups and decide where they go. After they've cut them up, they can go ahead and take them to the different labels. The go foods are the ones that are the most healthful. Then the ones that they should slow down are the ones that aren't they're okay to eat once in a while, and the woe uh, foods are the ones that we should stay away from. Uh, on the poster board, you can go ahead, and that is referenced on page 56, and you'll find the definition for the different types of categories, and also you will find what you are what you eat on page 58, and that is the reference that says how you should go about in eating these foods. You can also check out the WeCan website so that you can find different games that you can play with your students. This one game is where you go ahead and show the, the type of food, you show it to the kids. The kids will all have these flags and they can either say whether it's a go food, a slow food, or a woe food. And after they decide and they have all their flags up, you turn it around and it mentions that it's a woe food. So you can play that and make sure that the kids can follow you and make the decision of which ones are the ones that they should go ahead and go and eat, the ones that they should slow down to, and the ones that they should eat less often. Thank you. My name is Rosemary Fuentes. I'm the Health and Wellness Program Specialist with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. Thank you.